right, so we are live on the web right now at KML.com, and I'm hanging out, of course, with the legendary Mr. Snoop D.O. Double right here. Yabba dabba doo bobble. <laughs> and my man, Wiz Khalifa. How? Oh, God. <laughs> So what's popping, fellas? I know we got this thing dropping tomorrow, so tell the people a little bit about uh, your little collaboration you're doing together. Yeah, it's a movie, it's a soundtrack. I think my mic's louder than everybody's. I think that's awesome, though. I think mine's off. Yeah. Nope, it's on. See, mine is like real loud. Engineers, hello, thank you. Turn me down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better. It's a movie, it's a soundtrack. Um, it's really special to both of us because it's something that we, uh, we we just sat around and thought of as as friends and just having a bond, and um, a year later it's um, it's in motion. You know what I'm saying? It's it's an experience. It's for some that everybody could live out. And what else, Snoop? It's just you know me and Wiz decided to come together and you know bring our talents together and just you know just be friends on screen and in the studio. You know a lot of people don't understand when you got two people who mutually love each other. It's a good thing for them to come together and make music and make movies and videos and. We just wanted to do it. Did nobody make us do it? We did it on our own, and this is the result of it. How did this whole bond between y'all kick off? I mean, I know y'all probably share a little something in common that you both love, but well, you know what I mean? Aside from that, I know the Young, Wild, and Free joint, you're on that too, but you just bumped into each other one day nah, out and about, and it was like, mm -mm. what's up? He was, uh, he was in my system, meaning that he was playing in my household. All my kids and my wife was playing his music. You know, we got like four or five different rooms in the house, and every time I walked by somebody's room, I would hear his voice and hear his music. Hmm. And my oldest son put me to the side. He was like, Pops, you need to get with him, because he's fly, he's the future. <laughs> so I went looking for him and, you know, hunted him down and told him I wanted him to get on a song. Found him, put him on a song. He asked me to get on a black and yellow remix. We got together, and it, we just naturally hit it off. That's dope. So basically a brotherhood de developed here that y'all building on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we immediately became family, you know? And it's something that people's gonna see forever. They're gonna see us working together. They're gonna see us chilling together, everything. How's know? the tour going? How many dates you done so far together? Like five or six. We just, what we wanted to do was, we wanted to light up a joint, right? <laughs> and let a couple of people hit it and then make everybody mad and be waiting on the real big deal, which we gonna do later on next year when we finish with the movie and get a couple of people to roll with us. You know, Wiz got Juicy J on the team now, so. We rolling thick right now. We trying to make it real official and real worldwide. Why Mac and Devin? And tell people what the movie is about. Because it's something like what? Go, go back to high school or go to high school? Yeah, well, we're in high school. I'm Devin. He's Mac. And um, I'm basically like a, a kid. I'm not really like a nerd or anything <laughs> like that. I just don't know how cool I actually am. I never really had, you know, the experiences and the fun. And, you know, I never just fell back and just enjoyed myself, you know. And Mac... Um, you know, he, that's all he did was enjoy himself and have fun and, and, and do the extracurricular part of school. And we kind of just, um, we link up and it's like a, it's like a, you wouldn't expect a partnership at first, but then when we meet each other, we got so much in common and we learn from each other. And it's just good for the fans to be able to grow with us and, you know, just, just get the same feeling that we got while making the movie. All right, you want to add anything to the movie comment? Smoke some. <laughs> I hate him right now. <laughs> All right, for sure. How's the family doing? You talked uh, about the kids and everything. I know you a great father. Yeah, everybody doing that. Everybody doing all right right now. My my older son is about to graduate from high school. My baby girl, she's singing now. So where? Yeah, my youngest son, he playing varsity football. So it's just a lot of things going on at my house. I'm just trying to get old. I'm in the forty club now. Shout out to my homeboy E forty and D shot. I'm joining y'all now. We all forty and up now. So holla. <laughs> Word. It's probably hard juggling everything. I know you miss home when you're out and about trying to do your thing musically. Nah, not when I'm, when I'm with Wiz, he makes me feel young again. And my family love the fact that it's me and Wiz on the road because they love him and they love me and they know we're not going to get into nothing, you know, other than what we need to be getting into. And we're not going to do nothing extracurricular. And it's just, it's a good feeling to know that, you know, his family know that he in good hands with me and my family right. know that it's the, you know, same situation. Y'all got each other's back. So we're going to, uh, is it going to be Amber Khalifa next year? Um, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Whoa, left field. <laughs> Maybe, because I know the bond is getting better. Some of the interviews and whatnot that I see out and about is like the bond is crazy right now. Yeah, everybody is excited because, you know, we, <laughs> we enjoy each other. But that's my baby, though, you know. But we keep everything um, in the home with it, you know. And then whatever 
whatever happens, happens. You've learned to just like ignore all the bad commentary out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, not really ignore, but just, you know, always just be personable about it first and not do everything for the mainstream or for the media and stuff like that. You know, um, people naturally get excited about our relationship just because she's a very interesting person. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm kind of cool, too. But at the end <laughs> of the day, we're, we're normal people, and we love each other, and we have a regular relationship, so we keep it like that. Do you promote her, like, going out and doing work? Because I've been seeing her little Smirnoff ads. Yeah, and yeah, whatnot, absolutely, or man. That's the, that's the best thing ever, man. I'm so happy for her. She's got a, a whole side of the building right. in New York. Um She's in the trains, in the stations, in um, in Times Square and stuff like that. So her Smirnoff ad is everywhere. She's doing music, like she's all over the place. She's still modeling all the time. So. And, you know, she's just a great person, and and her energy is wonderful, and it just contributes to everything that I already had going on anyway. So it's like, why not? Right. She's she's definitely doing a thing out there. Yeah. But would you be open to a reality show with her? No, absolutely. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Get out my bedroom. <laughs> For <laughs> no. real. Yeah. And then I, it's funny because I haven't even watched TV for a long time, but I turned on TV today and I seen like some of the stuff that's on there. I'm like, oh, set man. up marriages, pregnancies. New. It's horrible. like Snoop said, man. That stuff's <laughs> made to break up the home, dog. Period. Period. You stopped you doing yours a while ago. No, I didn't stop doing. Yeah, I thought you did. They stopped doing mine because oh. my my family and my TV show was it was a functional family. It was you <laughs> right. know the kids listened. The wife was at home. The father did what he was supposed to do. It was like we thought it was gonna be a gang bang house with everybody doing what they want to do, dysfunctional. But it wasn't that, and it made the networks mad because I couldn't give them something that wasn't real. All I could do was do what I was doing, and that's right. how my family is. My household is ran. By my wife, she's the backbone. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I'm just the, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Gotta love him. When are we gonna see? I know you got side projects. We was talking about your shades a second ago. When are those coming out? When can people grab them? Because I want them white pairs right there. These will be out in about two weeks at your local thrift store, 7 Eleven, <laughs> Eddie's Liquor, 99 cent store. You crazy. We're the same place you can get wave caps and white tees. Yes, sir. Holla. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap it up because I know everybody else wants to talk to you. You don't know how many people in this building, no disrespect to you, but everybody's like, man, Snoop's gonna be here, dude. Come on, I man, that's the dog. <laughs> Legendary. But this is my this is like my second home. You know what I'm saying? When I first came out. The Bay Area, you know what I'm saying? They welcomed me with warm arms. They would always play my music. They would let me do what I wanted to do out here. They they would support me like to to the highest levels that just you could even imagine. Then when I caught my case, you know, the people out here supported me. A lot of people from out here came down to to give me interviews and just to get my side of the story. And it was a love thing that was built early in the nineties and it hasn't been broken yet. And you know what I'm saying? I've always been affiliated and associated with Bay Area artists and, mm -hmm. and people in general. So this is home for me. So I love the people that love me. That's beautiful. You wanna say anything to the Bay before I let y'all move on to yeah, the Bay? Yeah, shout out to the Bay and um their green friendliness, man. You know, I'm from the other side of the map, so when they let me come out here and do what I do and give me so much love since early in my career, you know, so same thing. Y'all gonna stop the by the green door before you, uh, you know How what I'm about saying? the green door? <laughs> stop by and see us. Shouts out to the green door. <laughs> now. All right. Send the representative. <laughs> We're on the web, KML.com, Sonny G, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa. Sonny G, hello.